when we see trash in the trail, when we can, we try to pick it up. So let's get rid of this. Ugh. on awesome peeps brent mccluskey here with electrified reviews and today we are reviewing the rambo crusader this is a dual drive front suspension swamp thing of an e-bike tons to talk about so let's dive in Today, we are reviewing the Rambo Crusader electric bike. And I'm just going to tell you right now that if you are a hunter, a bike packer, or just love getting outdoors to experience what this beautiful planet of ours has to offer, you are absolutely going to love this ride. The Crusader is a powerful, capable, and accessory ready deep woods machine that is geared for extreme adventures. We reviewed its big brother, the Prowler, last year, and we are so excited to get the chance to do some exploring on yet another Rambo electric bike. The Crusader is a top-of-the-line e-bike with premium components that really shine on this light and nimble ride. And I say light, but it comes in at around 74 pounds. But considering that there are two 500-watt hub motors here, it seems like it should weigh significantly more. And how much can you expect to pay for a dual motored off-road monster like this? The MSRP on the Crusader is $4,999 USD, but at the time of this review, it's on sale for $2,999 USD, which is a seriously huge holiday discount. The Crusader comes in one frame size and it currently comes in one color, a true timber Viper woodland camo pattern, which is pretty dope if you ask me. Rambo offers a limited lifetime warranty on the frame, a one-year comprehensive warranty, and a 30-day return policy. And Rambo also offers free shipping to the contiguous United States, which means you don't have to factor that in to your budget. All right, enough preamble. Let's dive into the specs. The Rambo Crusader has two Bafang hub motors for a whopping 1,000 nominal watts and an even higher peak wattage output of 1,500 watts. When it comes to measuring the torque, it's hard to say that it has the traditional 85 newton meters of torque because of the dual motor system. It really does feel more like the advertised 160 newton meters of torque. This thing pulls harder than a mule heading back to the stables. In short, this motor combination is ridiculously powerful. Right, let's talk about top speed. Out of the box, the Crusader will hit about 17 miles per hour easy with just a throttle, and we were able to get it up to about 30 miles per hour with the pedal assist. And on the downhills, man, forget about it. However, since the Crusader only has one gear, it's difficult to pedal faster than about 17 miles per hour, unless you enjoy making eggs. This means that if you unlock the top speed, you'll only be able to use the dual motors to keep you going at high speeds, and again, this will seriously eat away at your battery life. When it comes to climbing hills and accelerating, the dual Bafangs ate up any incline we threw at them. And if you're planning on taking the Crusader off-road, I can't think of many scenarios where this thing wouldn't absolutely crush it. A swamp, maybe? Actually, no, scratch that. A swamp is one of the areas the Crusader will shine thanks to the dual motors and huge 4-inch fat tires. If you're looking to ride a bike through deep mud, you are as good as gold on this chariot. The battery on the Rambo Crusader is a 48 volt, 14 amp hour system with a max estimated range of 25 to 30 miles. 
And this range is totally doable if you keep the pedal assist in a low setting and use the throttle sparingly. But at full power, the motors demand a lot of juice and it will eat up the battery really quickly. So if you plan on covering some distance, plan on putting in some extra work to maximize the battery life. The battery here is locking and removable and is partially integrated into the down tube, which is a huge step forward from a traditionally mounted battery. Having the battery at a lower point on the frame helps with the center of gravity, which is a huge bonus considering the difficult terrains you're most likely going to be riding this on. As we already covered, the Rambo Crusader weighs in at 74 pounds, but it has a 300 pound carry capacity. Rambo did a decent job here at planning ahead and provided some attachment bosses on the frame. There's four bosses on the stem in case you want to attach a load bearing basket and there are a few sets of bosses at the rear of the frame that can accept a rack or even a trailer. The 6061 aluminum frame is rigid and seems well suited for rough paths and trailblazing. For suspension, the Crusader has GT MRK air forks with about 120 millimeters of travel. These forks are adjustable and really soak up big bumps and drops. And while they're not really built for catching air, they're absolutely perfect for exploring that back 40 or exploring that new hunting area that you've always dreamed about going to but never been able to reach before. The giant 26 inch by four inch Kenda tires act as another layer of suspension thanks to their huge air volume. And they also provide great traction on all types of terrain, especially when you experiment with lower tire pressures. To bring the Rambo Crusader to a stop, we've got Logan HD E500 dual piston hydraulic disc brakes with 180 millimeter rotors and the front and rear wheel. These brakes are enough to bring that hungry mule to a stop in a hurry. And it may seem like overkill in perfect riding conditions, I know, but look, again, the Crusader's home is deep in the woods where it's wet and muddy, and that's when the extra braking power really comes into handy. With proper braking technique, this setup offers quite a bit of control when descending steep sections of the trail. The handlebars here feel like a good width for maintaining control, and the locking Velo ergonomic grips ensure that your hands don't come flying off the handlebars. On the left side, we've got the control pad, and on the right, we've got our thumb throttle. The buffet display is bright enough to see in direct sunlight, and it has the ability to be tilted, though the stem prevents a full arch of movement. That's not a huge deal as I found that just forward of its backward limit was the perfect vantage point for me. Overall, the Crusader is an impressive machine that fits right in with the other offerings from Rambo. The Crusader could slam pavement in its sleep and prefers to be roaming in the wilds of nature. If you're a hunter or just a trailblazer of epic proportions, the Crusader is a ride worth checking out. And with that, let's take this gnarly e-bike out for a ride. my fellow e-bike friends, that is it for the review of the Rambo Crusader dual motor front suspension swamp thing of an e-bike. I hope you guys dug this review. I hope you are having a fantastic day wherever you might be. If you could take a moment to like, comment, and sub to Electrified Reviews, that would be fantastic. It would help a bunch. We would really appreciate it. And it would just be awesome. So thank you guys for watching again. Have a good one. And until next time, peace. <laughs>